Welcome back to 20 CSTV News. I'm Brooke Wilson with this week's top stories. The men of value and excellence brought back the Mr. Move contest this semester with nine men competing to be crowned Mr. Move. 20 CSTV was on the scene. Solomon reporting for 20 CCTV. TV. I'm here in the Corey Union function room where this year's Mr. Moon pageant is taking place. Stay tuned for live coverage of the show. How you doing? My name is Julian Albino. I'm the president of Men of Value and Excellence Move here on campus. We're a club that embraces the positivity and positive values of men on campus here. We also like to embrace diversity, which is the purpose of this uh, competition, not only to see who's the best uh, male contestant, but also to showcase the growing diversity on campus. Watch out for that one, ladies. Earlier this week, SUNY Cortland got its pink on for the premiere of the hit Broadway musical Legally Blonde. The College Performing Arts Department's production offered the bubbly, intelligent sorority girl Elle Woods as a character who parades through classrooms and courtrooms wearing suits in a distinctive color. Doris Lowbrew can fill us in. This weekend, the SUNY Cortland Performing Arts Department is tickled pink to present Legally Blonde, an exciting, stylish, and energetic musical production based on the book by Anita Brown. The lead role, Elle Woods, was played by musical theater senior Jacqueline Collins. What a great show put on by the SUNY Cortland students and theater department. This is Doris L. Brew, CSTV. The play will continue to have shows through April 19th. Lastly, SUNY Cortland's NSSLHA hosted a 5K run to help celebrate sound in the hopes to spread awareness and promote hearing health in our community. Cortland's National Student Speech, Language, and Hearing Association hosted their first ever Don't Walk in Silence 5K run this past Sunday. The race is designed to celebrate sound and support those who need information, education, and hearing health services. Sertoma, a nonprofit organization who supports those impacted by hearing loss, was the NSSLHA's club partner for the event. Half the net proceeds from the race will be used to purchase iPads to be used in clinical therapy sessions in SUNY Cortland's Communication Disorders Department. The other half of proceeds will be used to help fund hearing charities of America's various mission projects. For more information or to help donate, you can go to mycelebratesound.org slash Cortland. I'm Brooke Wilson from 20CSTV News. Participants helped raise over $8,000 with the help of the Cortland community and students. That's all for this week, but don't forget to follow 20CSTV on all of our major social media sites. I'm Brooke Wilson. Thanks for watching.